Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, nice to meet you, welcome. And a big shout out to all of my um, frequent subscribers and viewers and anyone who comments, likes, any of that um, on my videos. I am so incredibly grateful for you all. Um, and I hope that if you are new here, then I can help you with your question or your journey, whatever is going on in your life. Um, today we're going to be addressing the question what do they find most attractive about you um, but I feel like there's going to be more stuff that comes up in the reading on top of that I just got that feeling that's not all that's going to be addressed by the card so just be ready <laughs> be ready for what comes through um, so we're going to, I'm going to place out some crystals. So with group number one, we have Lapis Lazuli. For group number two, we have Moonstone. For group number three, we have Malachite. Gotta love some Malachite. So <clears throat> I ask that you choose your group based off your intuition, not from sight. Um, so take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out and when you're ready you can open your eyes and whichever you're drawn to is what you should choose with group number one group number two and group number three okay feel free to pause the video um i do like to shuffle the cards in front of you so that you understand that the intention is pure um so i um haven't got any piles set out yet if you're new all right um but otherwise when you're ready we will get straight stuck into it so I have got a lot of rose quartz here. I need some loving energy. I've had a bit of a tense day. So I'm going to get some sage and we'll start off with cleansing. And for those of you who aren't new and who have watched my videos, before I am, um, I am filming today on my iPhone because my camera, as you all know, is really old. It's about twelve years old, um, and it makes a lot of clicking noises when it zooms in and out, um, which is very frustrating for me and very frustrating for my viewers, obviously. Um, not to mention it overheats all the time and constantly cuts out. Um, so I've got two gigabytes of data. So once I've reached 10 minutes, if I can even make it that far before it overheats, then I've got to restart and I've got to like load everything onto my computer and go back. So it takes me about like six hours, six hours to film like a one hour video. It's a bit nuts. So today we're doing it on my phone. I've cleared up a lot of storage on my phone, so we shouldn't have a problem. So we're starting with the Sentinel Tarot. And we're setting the intention for group number one. Please, group number one, what is attractive about group number one? What does this person that they think you have find attractive about group number one? Okay. We have the Ace of Wands. Um, we have the Seven of Swords. We have strength. Mm -hmm. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Five of Wands. Ten of Pentacles, and even though we've run out of room, I do have an extra card, and it's Justice. So, let's just place that down there. Okay. <sighs> Straight up, I'm seeing that you are a very passionate person. You <clears throat> fight for what you believe in. Um, and this person that you're thinking of finds that very attractive about you. They see you as a really confident person that won't back down. 
um, and they really find that sexy. I even think they find it like mysterious um, because we've got the Seven of Swords here. They see how far you're willing to go to protect your own because like in the Seven of Swords, you know, he's stealing the swords from the other the opposition in the war to, so that he can keep on fighting, okay? So you never give up. You strive towards your goals with complete, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Complete ambition, confidence. You don't let anything back you down. And I think you always have a lot of new adventures and a, new, a lot of new ideas. Like you're constantly coming up with new things that you want to do, um, new places you want to go. You, you're very independent. You don't need anyone else. You're very strong all by yourself, you know? And, um, I think you've, you've always got really great goals and you work really hard towards them. We've got the justice card here as well. So I see that especially with like mixture of sword energy, pentacle energy and wand energy, I think you're quite balanced. Like I think that you are grounded, but you um, also are fiery at the same time. You're balanced at, you know, finding constructive ways towards achieving your goals, okay? And they really appreciate that about you. I think they like to learn from you um, and watch you. And I think you might even, without even perhaps realizing it, you might guide them in life because I think that they observe you and they watch how you go about achieving your goals and how you go about living your life. And they, they take a cue from you essentially. Um, and they love how you just constantly like, thinking of new things like you never you never give up and you don't listen to like people around you that try to keep you down that try to keep you caged in or boxed in okay I think you you think outside the box um and you do what you follow your own heart yeah you're the star okay I think you're quite intelligent um you're socially aware and they like that about you but you still do your own thing okay and I think you're accepting and generous and um, open-minded about a lot of different kinds of like ways of life and people and um, even when you're struggling you don't give up even when you're struggling you help other people I see that you're very generous as well um, because you're strong they really love that about you and because we have the justice card I am seeing that there's this element of you that's very fair you're very generous you're very fair but you don't tolerate bullshit either because that blocks you you don't you know how we had the nine of swords pop up you don't listen to people that try to block you you don't listen to their negativity okay but you're also very fair and you're very kind and generous and even if someone's mean to you you won't be mean back you're very um you're not easily influenced by negativity okay and i even think this person like wants to celebrate you i think that they like you so much that they they see them they see you being in their life for a very long time they um see you as like a joint kind of how do i word it they see you as a long-term connection whether this is a friend romantic um for some of you it can be romantic because we've got the king of wands and he awaits his counterpart i think they do because you've got that single energy they do see you as potentially an ideal counterpart yeah the king of swords they are thinking of you in that way um and there is like i think the King of Wands is a lot of sexual desire, so I think they could be sexually attracted to you as well if this is a romantic interest. Um, but the King of Swords is also intellect. They're attracted to your intellect, okay? Um, let's take a look at the Animal Spirit cards for some clarification about how they see you, what they're attracted to about your energy. Okay. We've got four cards and they're very conflicting to be honest all right we have the swan we have the cosmic egg we have the rabbit and we have the scorpion okay 
So again, we've got earth energy, fire energy, and this time we've got water energy, which we haven't come had come up yet. So maybe that's the purpose of the swan is to show that you're also very um, emotionally in tune and they see you um, as very beautiful, I'm seeing. Um, yeah, they're definitely attracted to you if this is a romantic interest, but if it's not, then they do appreciate your beauty very much. So kind of like how a mother appreciates their child's beauty, that kind of idea. So the scorpion is passionate, competitive, tends towards isolation. So as I was saying, you, you are passionate. You go towards your goals with ferocity, okay? So they really love that about you. The scorpion is a passionate and determined creature. Their career is very important to them as are a few select friends. Sometimes the scorpions heap festus and they focus on unresolved events from the past, usually a situation where they were left feeling burned. The scorpion card says it's time to come clean about your feelings so everyone can heal and you get back to your usual fiery but fun self. But what I see in this is, is like you're very passionate, you go towards the girls with ferocity and as I was saying you're very kind and generous but you don't listen to bullshit, you will sting something like you'll, you'll, you'll literally like get that poison out of your life, you know. Um, let's go to the swan, shall we? Oh no, maybe we'll go to the rabbit because that's coming up first. Or not? Or not? What am I looking at? Oh, I'm in air. Saw it backwards. All right, let's go. To the cosmic egg. So com completion, harmony, the infinite within the finite. The cosmic egg is the final card in the journey of the animal spirit deck and it represents the unfolding of cosmic consciousness. This state emerges after we have tread the park for quite some time and through self-effort and grace we experience self-realization. A sense of contentment and oneness spontaneously arises within us and the veils of our self-limiting beliefs are lifted. When the essence of the cosmic egg has not been activated, we may feel as if we will never get there or that we travel alone, disconnected from others. Even if our encounter with this card is brief, appearing as a momentary glimmer or flash of in interconnectedness, its potent energy stays with us. Uh, the cosmic egg is a remedy for the fragmentation of modern life. It's through this card that we're reminded of the cosmic contract written at the beginning. And we hold on to life and life holds on to us. The journey is complete, but it does not end. Uh-huh. So I think this person finds a lot of solace in you. They are very, they feel very content when they're around you. They feel like, um, I think they see you as quite an evolved person. Um, very wise, very intelligent. Um, but I also feel like they... If this is romantic or if this is a close friend or a family member, they see you as a soulmate. They see you as someone, remember how I was saying that you're someone who they want to be around for their whole life? They see you as someone that they've been contracted to be with for their whole life, that it was part of their life's purpose, their soul's journey to have met you and to have you in their life, okay? So, and I, it's almost like they want to keep you entrapped in their world. It's like... They're holding on tight to you because you, they see you as like this colourful enigma of energy. Like, mm, they adore you. All right, let's go to the swan, shall we? Effortless creativity, sensitive, mystic, elegant power. So, yeah, we've got more water element here. So, they see you also as creative in how, about you, how you go about your career goals, your ambitions in life. Um, they... I get the feeling like they see you as a source of a way to make their life more, just more. <laughs> Does that make sense? How do I describe that? See how the snake coils around the egg and it wants to grip it? It's like he's trying to absorb that positive energy. It's like with the swan, they just see you as something that will make their life better, you know? And they're very attracted to that. 
The swan represents heightened creativity. In Hindu mythology, the goddess Saraswati, the embodiment of language, creativity, and art history, rides on the back of this graceful creature. The swan is ready to take us there to the fluid realm of writing, creating, and reflecting. This potent and healing energy is not to be taken for granted or taken lightly. When the swan card appears, his soul is calling for attention, for solo time, and inner voice is waiting to be heard, an inner vision likely to be revealed. But I think they see you as a source of peace, a source of contentment. Like when you walk into a room, it's like, oh, they can breathe out. Like I can imagine them having social anxiety, but when you walk in, they feel calm. Okay, you're like their anti-anxiety pill, almost. Um, and you might be multilingual, I'm getting that message as well. Um, you might speak two or more languages, and they find that very attractive about you because you are very intelligent. All right, and let's go finally to the rabbit. Um... So when in balance, the rabbit is sensitive, a problem solver, and a good listener. So I think they see you as, again, someone who solves their problems for them just from watching you. They find new ways to go about solving their own problems in life. Or you might give them good advice. They might actually talk to you about their problems and you give them really good advice. Um, and you, I feel like you quell their fears. Um, I think you are very... What's the word? Mm, I think you're very powerful in your positivity. As in, if they were to come to you and say that they have an issue, someone's treating them badly, I feel like you would support them so ferociously, so strongly, so powerfully that they would feel so protected and loved and like this would never be an issue again, okay? Um, they feel very safe around you. Yeah. Yeah, they feel very safe around you. They feel protected, comfortable, cozy, you know, very cuddly around you. Uh, let's take a Moonology card. Oh, oh, hello. Okay, so we have communication is key, Newman and Gemini. So um, I do think they like to communicate with you. I like, I think they like to seek you out for advice, seek advice from you um, about their problems and their goals because they see you as someone who's experienced and who is very um, affirmative and courageous and powerful. And I think your courage comes from a place of vulnerability as well. I think you're honest about who you are as a person and that is what empowers you and I think they really love that about you they see your vulnerability as an ultimate source of strength and they love that they really love that about you um and then we have look at the bigger picture full moon in Sagittarius um to be honest what I'm getting from this card because of the colors and the arrow um, I think that they definitely love you in some way. It might be a romantic, it might be in a friendly way. Um, you know, you can definitely be, there's definitely a different kind of love that you have for your friends, um, but it's still love nonetheless. And um, there's a romantic love and then there's family love, you know, but nonetheless, they do really love and admire you. And they see you on a whole. They see you as a whole person. I think they see all sides of you and they appreciate it. They appreciate the darker parts. They still see the darker parts as beautiful. They just see the depth in you and they love every element of you. They really do. Yeah. Um, and they really like talking with you. They really like communicating with you. Let's take... Um... <sighs> Yeah, so we've got the King of Pentacles from the Arthurian Tarot. Um, they see you, yeah, again, as really ambitious, um, protective, loyal, um, and and kind. Um, so the Stone King is the King of Pentacles. And then we've got the Eight of Pentacles. who's someone who's willing to put in the hard work, the hard yards to achieve what you have and continue to achieve. Okay, let's take an Angel Oracle. Listening, yeah. So you're a really good listener and, yeah, they really like to communicate with you and talk with you. And the Mermaid Oracle, synchronicity. They feel in sync with you. Or, actually, they feel more in sync with themselves 
when they're around you because I feel like you reveal the truth of them to them, if that makes sense. They, un they find ways to learn about themselves and understand themselves through you, through their friendship, relationship, or observation of you. You are a really guiding force in their life. It's beautiful. It's really, really, really beautiful. Okay, and finally, we're going to take a goddess card. Morgan Le Fay. I love this card so much. It's just so beautiful. So Morgan Le Fay is commonly remembered as the enchantress, half sister of King Arthur. Remember how I was saying they see you kind of as like mysterious, like mystic kind of energy. Like they're very drawn to, because they just want to get to know more of you. They want to see more of the depths of your soul, you know? She is, in fact, the great queen goddess, ruler of the mystical island of Avalon, the fortunate island of the blessed dead. Sometimes equated with the ancient Irish warrior goddess Morrigan, she is the Celtic death goddess. As Morgana Fata, she is the controller of destinies and knows the fate of each person. She is noted for her healing powers, her knowledge of healing plans, and her prophetic vision. Like a shaman, she is a shapeshifter, able to take on many forms. Morgan Le Fay represents that deep place of healing magic within each of us. The centre where wisdom and healing flow even in the moment of death. The ambivalence with which she is traditionally represented echoes our own fear of her deep and ancient wisdom. Yeah, they really see you as extraordinarily wise. Um, and healing. You're very healing for them, very calming. As I said, you're like their anti-anxiety pill. <laughs> um, they adore you. They really do. I'm, yeah, they really adore you. They feel a little bit intimidated by you, I think, as well, because you're just so powerful, but they love that. That's the mystery of it, you know? How can they get on your level? They want to know, yeah? They want to share in that power with you. Oh, juicy. I feel really juicy right now. <laughs> okay, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. If you do want a private reading with me, then um, my email address is in the description box below. And if you would like to donate to this channel, I'd be incredibly, incredibly grateful, but only if it resonates with you. And I'll see you in the next reading. Ciao for now. Okay, so we're going to start with group number two. I'll just pack up these cards. If you'll bear with me just for a second, I'd be very grateful indeed. I'm enjoying filming on my phone. It's making things a hell of a lot easier. I haven't cut out or like it's just been this continuous filming. It's so like easy. I can't believe how much easier this is than my camera. Okay, thank you for your patience. So, I do have some sage burning. I'm just going to run them over so I can cleanse the energy from the last reading. I'm going to cleanse them over my cards. I hope everyone's having a good day. Leave me a comment if there's anything you'd like to see in particular for readings. I'm kind of just... Going with the flu here, um, because I'm new to this kind of thing on YouTube, I am I'm taking cues from other channels and what kind of topics seem to be popular and what people seem to like. But if there's something I haven't covered that you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments. But we're going to start with the Sentinel Tarot deck. And we're going to ask, please tell us what group, um, what is attractive about group number two? What do people or a person in particular find attractive? about group number two. Oh boy okay this is interesting so we have the star <laughs> um <laughs> we have the nine of pentacles and wait for it wait for it two of cups so straight off the bat before we even get the rest of the cards Pretty clear this is a romantic connection if they're not romantic to you you're certainly romantic to them we've got oh 
Whoops. Maybe I should take that as a sign not to use that card. It was the Ten of Swords. Okay, let's shuffle that back in. If it comes up, we'll use it. Okay. We've got the Eight of Wands and Strength. And let's go for a couple more. Mm hmm we have the Knight of Swords. Whoop. Whoop. Okay, and we have Death, so I think, yeah, that Ten of Swords was meant to be in there, but that's cool, that's cool. Let's just shuffle these across a little bit, make some more room. Okay, all right, I've got the energies, I feel. So straight up, it's clear to me this person is in love with you, deeply attracted to you, very attracted to your body, to your figure, to your physicality. Um, they see you as innocent, yet not in the not in the wrong sense of the term. Like they see you as pure. That's better. They see you as pure, not innocent. Um, they really admire your independence. They admire that you go for, you have a clear direction in life. You're very strong, very independent. You're um, intelligent. I think you're thought, thought oriented, your plan, plan process. Pro, no, you follow through. No, <laughs> hold on. Let me get the message clearly. You think before you do. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I'm getting a lot of different messages. You think before you do, but you have a clear direction. And once you know exactly what your plan is, you go for it. Okay. You really go for it. You're really good at communicating as well. And they really appreciate that about you. I think you're very good at facing your fears. You don't let your fears stop you. And that's why you're in this position. And that's why you're so intelligent because of your experience. I think you've been through some stuff. Um, where you've had to deal with problems in life alone or not not emotionally alone for some of you I'm feeling. For some of you I feel like you had the emotional support but you didn't have the financial or physical support and you couldn't rely on other people for that so you had to do that by yourself. But emotionally they were there for you I think for a lot of you. But for some of you, you didn't have anyone emotionally, you didn't have anyone physically, any finance, um, and you have to get it through all by yourself. And that's why you're really smart and you're um, process oriented because you know how to take step by step by step to get to here. Yeah. Um, and that's why you're the star. You're very clever. And I think you're very good at networking, really good at talking to a lot of people and, and gaining information. Um, like you're a sponge. And they really appreciate that about you. And it's almost like they want to soak up. Like, they're like the earth here. They want to soak up whatever you're pouring into the earth. However you nourish them, they're just like, give me more. I want more, okay? Because whatever you do for them, they love it. They literally see you as their soulmate. They do. Um, they see they have a very deep spiritual connection with you. They see you as a source of strength for them as well. I think that's why they want to soak up more of you because they feel stronger, more empowered when they're around you. They feel they have more of a clear direction when they're around you. Um, and they they think more clearly when they're around you. They just they're a better person when they're around you. They feel like the old negative side of them dies when they're with you they're just like this whole new better more engaged positive person um you make them love themselves if that makes sense you help them to love who they are and for that they really love you and they love you just for who you are as well so it's just like these two different elements that combined it's like oh my gosh like this person is everything everything to me and look if this isn't a romantic connection this is still how they feel like they feel very strongly about you um they feel like you're a necessity in their life um 
Let's take a Moonology card, I'm feeling, for some more clarification. Oh, we got a lot. We got a lot, a lot, a lot. Work through your fears. You help them to work through their fears because you're a source of strength for them, remember? Surrender to the divine. They feel like they can trust you um, and they feel like they can trust in themselves and in the universe and the direction that their life is taking when they're around you, okay? They believe in the impossible when they're with you. They believe, you know, anything can happen, anything, anything great can happen in their life, okay? They feel like the tough things in their life just aren't that hard anymore, okay? Um, they feel more fluent. They can deal more easily and more fluently with their problems if they have you by their side because you're a source of strength and clarification. Um, and they feel like the past is the past. All they want to do is move forward in you. All they can think about when they're with you is the future, you know, how, how amazing the future can be with you, yeah? Um... And they want to commit to you. Um, I think that they, yeah, they, they, they're so in love with you. They just want you in their life forever. And I think for some of them, it's like they want to commit to ensuring that you're a permanent figure in their life. For some of them, they might want to commit to you through marriage. There might be a proposal coming. Um, let's take a goddess card. But they're very attracted to your strength and they're very attracted to how you make them feel. Ooh. Pale. Love her. I love the different um, colours. Okay. Pale is a fiery Hawaiian volcano goddess. The daughter of the earth goddess Hamiya, Pale came to Hawaii on a boat. Killed him in a fight with her sister, the ocean. She took refuge in the glowing cauldron of Mount Kalei. Kilayu, where she receives the souls of the dead and regenerates them with fire. In tempestuous relationship with Kampua, the ferocious pig god, she is portrayed as a jealous goddess, her rages manifesting as volcanic eruptions. Revered by Hawaiians even today, she carries the force of the volcano with its molten lava flow, which even in destruction creates new land. Pale stands for the molten, fierce aspect of life that is unable to do anything halfway. Yeah. She reminds us that even in the midst of fiery eruption, there is creation and new life. Yeah. You aren't willing to do anything halfway. You go you go full blown at it. You know, you've got a very clear direction in life and it serves you very well. You charge in um, and you're very smart. You're very intellectual and... Nothing holds you back and it's almost like I can imagine someone trying to like have an argument with you and you just fight back with all of the facts like because you already know. You know everything I feel like and I don't mean that in like an arrogant way. I mean like you genuinely you put so much effort into ensuring that what you say and what you do is an accurate reflection of life and reality and um, you're very proud of how smart you are that if someone would ever challenge you, you would not back down <laughs> and you would crush them, <laughs> I feel. Let's take um, an Arthurian card. And I think that this person is extremely attracted to that. Like, they just love how devoted you are to um, your moral certitude. Okay, so... Um, we have the Queen of Cups. So you're also very kind, emotionally um, fulfilling for them. Um, I think you share your your wealth. I think you share your, um, when I say wealth, I mean like your emotional well with people. I think, I think you like to have fun and have laughs with people and you can see when people are down and you like to help them by making them laugh and, and you like to help them by giving them a clear action plan. Like you really want to um, help them solve their problems. And you're also very like a, a beacon of like the light at the end of the tunnel. See, like you, you guide people to um, 
I don't want to say it too cliche because it's not what I mean. You guide people to a point where they find clarity within themselves, if that makes sense. So you don't just, you know, help people and then you don't just give advice that, that doesn't make sense, if that makes sense. Like you, you actually give such good advice that you actually help people think more clearly to a point where they, they can solve their problem. Is that making sense? I really hope it does. I, I, I don't know how to describe it better um, than that. I've got another card, which is um, the Sleeping Lord, but I don't know. Um, Renewal, resurrection, recapitulation of events or ideas, prophetic vision, ending or beginning, forgiveness, adjustment, recovery of that which has been lost sight of, impulse to change one's life. Yeah. So you might even be a little bit psychic as well because um, with Pale, um, there was an element of her being psychic as well. So you might have um, psychic abilities. But again, you, you guide people. You help them to think more clearly yeah and they celebrate that they celebrate you they foster you yeah they really nurture you for it um and i think that the person that you're wondering about if like what they're attracted to you about it's that they see that and they really um see that it's very generous and kind of you and unusual um you might even be a star seed like it's just something there's just something special about you that's worthy of celebration yeah and they really love that about you it's almost like they like to be seen around you they like to be associated with you closely because of that um let's take an angel oracle me i'm so sorry okay power they see you as very powerful they feel more powerful with you and they see that you share your power with others and they really appreciate that about you it's like you just emanate um it's almost like your aura just is nourishing to people just being around you is nourishing to this person yeah and divine guidance okay they see you as divinely guided into their life they see you as um their soulmate or their twin flame like they feel like you are meant to be okay let's take um an angel um, sorry a mermaid oracle card Stay optimistic. You help them to feel optimistic about their life. Wish fulfillment. Make a wish, okay? You make them feel like anything is possible. Remember once in a blue moon? You really do. Like, you really make them feel like they could have the world when they're with you. Pay attention. I feel like this is a message for you to pay more attention to them. I don't know why. Because obviously you care about them. But notice repetition signs and your inner guidance as this can yield valuable information. Maybe they're trying to tell you how they feel about you subtly. So pay attention to that. Um, and playtime. The dolphins know the importance of playing and joy as joy creates miracles and manifestation. Um, maybe you should ask them on a date. Or maybe they're secretly asking, oh, okay, so if this is a work colleague, or like a friend that you care about a lot but don't see a lot and they're asking you out for drinks. I think it's kind of like to them it's a date, but to you it's like, oh, yeah, we're just going out for drinks. But I think you need to pay more attention to the subtle signs that it means more to them than you realise. And I don't think it's like um, that you don't care. I think you are playing it down. 
Okay, especially if you have feelings for them, I think you're playing it down like, oh, no, they just want to go out for drinks. Like, they're not asking me on a date. They just want to go out for drinks. But no, they want to go on a date with you. They just are too afraid to be so candid. Okay? <laughs> but it's time. It's time to play. Mm. Okay. That is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I really am grateful for that. Um, if you would like a private reading with me, then my email address is in the description box below. And if you'd like to donate to this channel, I'd be incredibly, incredibly grateful, but only if it resonates with you, okay? And again, thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you in the next reading. I hope this helped. Okay. So, hello, group number three. If you're watching, we'll just pack this up. Um, I appreciate your patience with me. Shouldn't take much longer. Beauty. Okay. All right. So hello, group number three again. We're going to start with the Sentinel Tarot deck as usual. Oh, I've got to crack my neck, crack my back. Been sitting in this chair for a while now. All right. So we're going to ask, please, what does this person or what do these people find attractive about you? Didn't even have to shuffle. We've already got two cards. So <clears throat> we have the Hermit in reverse. And we have the Six of Wands. Celebration. Let's see what else we get. What is attractive about group number three? Ooh. Okay, we just got a whole bunch. That have flipped out. Okay. Four of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. The Moon. Oh, sorry, that was in reverse to me, so that's in reverse. And Ten of. Um, Nine of Wands. Okay. So. Hmm. 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 <laughs> I see. You take this person out of this shell. I think this person is very shy. And you help them to go out, have fun, party, celebrate life. You help them find new opportunities. Um... I can really imagine you being as like this person is like, come on, let's just <laughs> two of cups. I can really imagine you being like this person that is like, come on, let's just go out. Let's just have one drink. Okay. And then we can go, you know, you um, like to go out at night. I see. Um, and I think they are ready to reveal that they love you. Okay. I think they've had secret feelings about you and now they're like, nah, I'm done. This person, I want to commit to them. I want to celebrate them. They make me feel so happy. They pull me out of my shell. They make me a better person. They're my soulmate. They're my spirit guide in life. They're my twin flame. I want to be with them. And I think they're very close. If not, they have already or they're very, very close. They're about to tell you that they love you and that they have feelings for you. Um, and they have been on guard about doing this. And that's because there's been a third party involved. Might be on your side, might be on their side. But they see you as a star. They see you as their twin flame soulmate. They see you as the truest and purest um person in their life yeah they see you as no actually this is not you this is their other person this other person is their queen of swords this other person is too harsh on them too harsh and you are much more gentle much more kind much more sweet and they want to celebrate that with you they really want to celebrate that with you. And you make them feel fun. You take them out of their shell. This person makes them feel depressed and you take them away from that. This person makes them feel like they have to constantly be on guard. And you take them away from that. And they adore that. They really do. And this person makes them feel like they have to uh, like they, they have to be submissive. Like that um, 
you know, there's a power of a struggle going on between them. Like they can't be equal to that person, but you treat them as equal and they absolutely adore that about you. They absolutely love that about you. And they find more emotional fulfillment. They feel more loved um, when they're with you and they're about to make you an offer. They really are. They're about to tell you that they have feelings for you. It might be subtle because we've got the moon. Um, there might be a water sign, um, especially because they've been dealing with this queen of swords. Like they might be scared of your reaction. Um, so they might subtly tell you, but they are going to tell you. Okay, because they, yeah, they are feeling a little bit protective of themselves. Um, I'm not really seeing anything to do with finances despite all this pentacle energy. Um, yeah. They, they see you as their emperor, so, and they're ready to make a move for you. And if we are talking about finances, they want to uh, spoil you, yeah? They want to spoil you because I feel like, yeah, they want to give you the world because they feel like they're quite well off financially, whether you know it or not, and they've been giving it all to this queen of swords and they're like, no, nah, no more. I'm giving it to this person, my star. I'm giving this to the person who truly, truly loves me. They want to build a foundation with you now, okay? They're ready to move forward with you. They're more than attracted to you. It goes beyond physical attraction. This is like a deep soul level connection. Um, so much so that it wouldn't matter if they didn't find you attractive physically, which is not to say that they don't because they do because you've got the star card. They're very attracted to you. But my point is, even if they didn't, it if they wouldn't care. It doesn't matter to them. Physicality doesn't matter to them. What matters is the soul connection. And there is nothing that compares to the connection that you two have. Okay. And I feel like you feel the same. I, and, but you have just not been approaching them because of this third party, because of this person that they're with. Yeah. <laughs> but they're going to break up with them. Yeah. Very soon. Like right now. <laughs> As we speak, they're breaking up with them because you are their queen of wands. You are their star. You are their empress. They see you as the fulfillment of their passion. They see you as their soulmate, twin flame. They see you as a source of strength and happiness. And I think you are very fiery. Um, and whilst they see you as a source of domestic security as well, they see you also as like, um, yeah, they're literally on their way to telling you. They're literally on the path right now. They're willing to build foundations with you. They're willing to put in the hard work with you, whatever it takes, okay? Because they see you as a way to access their own spirituality. They see you as a way to transform their life and who they are. This is deep, man. This is so deep, okay? Five of cups in reverse. They've turned around and they've realized the two cups that are still standing because at the moment... Sorry, in the past, they've been focused on these cups that have spilled over. They've been focused on this. And now they've turned around and they're like, hey, hey, I've got the star. I've got my queen of wands. I've got my empress. And they're coming into this king of cups energy, ready to express their emotion, ready to be honest and share how they feel about you. Okay? Because they, they now know what they want. They've spent some time figuring it out. And now they know. Oh, God. So many cards coming out. Yeah, they're about to charge right in. Like, so soon and offer you everything, offer you the world. Okay, the hangman in reverse, the time for waiting is over. They're ready to make you an offer. They might feel like they're being a bit sneaky about it, but they've had enough contemplating it. They're ready to find balance. They've made a decision. They're not sharing their financial wealth. They're not sharing their securities their luxuries with this person anymore they want to give it all to you as their empress whoops pardon me because they now have a clear direction they want to communicate with you oh gosh so many cards but i just couldn't stop all right they've made their decision and they're ready to take action oh geez okay spirit was just flowing through me then guys I hope you felt that as much as I did. I could not stop just then. Oh, geez, big lemon squeeze. 
You are everything to them. Are they attracted to you? That's not even important because you are everything to them. It goes beyond attraction. Yes, they're attracted to you, but it's not one thing. It's not what do they find attractive about you. They find everything attractive about you, okay? You are everything to them. But if you want something specific, because I feel like some of you do, let's try and figure this out. They like your passion. They like how far you are. They find you as a source of happiness. They find you as um, someone who goes after what they want. Okay, someone who can fulfill their passions yet, they're ready. Look at this, look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. This is just insane. This is just insane. The devil in reverse. They've unchained themselves from this person, okay? The change, the change is coming in your favor. They've been thinking about it, okay? They haven't felt balance in their energy, but you are a source of balance for them and they're ready to take action. Oh, oh I feel so intense right now. My chest is like heavy. All right, let's take, I'm going to find out specifically what it is that they find attractive about you for those of you who want to know specifically. So let's go with an animal spirit card. Holy guacamole. I need a nap. That was intense. Here we go. <laughs> Firefly. Okay, you're a source of inspiration for them. A source of light in the darkness. Beautiful. But they feel like they have to catch you before you because you're that queen of wands energy empress energy you don't need anybody you certainly don't need them and it's like um like as much as you want them you don't need them okay and they're coming out of the shadows okay they feel like they've been trapped in the shadows and you're like this guiding light for them yeah you inspire them to do more i think you are psychic or you have psychic abilities and they really like that about you they see the world with you um and they see you as someone who has a really deep understanding of them, um, someone who will nurture them and whom they can nurture and they can build a life with. They may even want to have children with you. Um, and they see you as someone who will help them to clean, clean up the crap in their life, help them to clean up all that dead energy that they absorbed around the Queen of Swords, you know, the parts of them that were dying. Okay, because now they're gaining momentum. They're coming towards you with full force. They see you as someone who is steady, someone who is very kind, creative, a really good networker. You really like to talk and be around people. Remember how I said that you get them out of the house and you like to go out with them and have fun with them? They really um, love that about you, okay? They love how much fun they bring into their lives, okay? Even if you don't, like, go out with them, you know, just the time that they spent with you, they feel like they're at a party or something, you know? They just always feel like they're having fun with you. And we've got the stingray energy, which I actually don't know anything about, so... Let's have a read from the book. The book. Oh, guys, I literally just opened up to the stingray. That's cool. Okay. Developing confidence, sense of self or spine. The stingray card represents a pivotal point in personal growth. The moment has come when the stingray must decide between the old, the easy, comfortable and familiar and the new, challenging, uncomfortable and unfamiliar. Pressure from family and friends makes a decision even more complicated. Remember how we had the Nine of Swords? I think their family and friends, um, for whatever reason, they're on the side of the Queen of Swords, okay? But they're sick of it, okay? Despite what they say, they're moving forward towards you. No matter what choice is made now, it's inevitable, inevitable that this dilemma will surface again and again as the force of Dharma growing within the sea race too strong to ignore, okay? Which is why they finally make their decision to come towards you, okay? You see how we've got like almost like the chakra energy through here? <sighs> you develop their confidence. You help them find themselves, okay? You help them integrate their unconscious um fears and sufferings with their conscious mind and heal from them you heal them yeah let's have a look at the crow because i feel like there's something else that we need from that do, 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 do. spiritually strong creative and watchful the crow has long been a symbol of magic you're magical to them guys oh oh okay 
A crow personality is drawn to the supernatural and has a gift for seeing the unseen, knowing the unknown. It is said that the crow holds within its mind's eye the three realities, past, present and future. Crow energy is potent and should only be tapped into when the mind is clear. Those with crow tendencies must balance their lives with a healthy diet, joyful friends and regular self-study. They're psychic and they're strong and they're clear, but they can be hypersensitive and ungrounded. So you definitely have psychic abilities. I think you may even be strongly aware that this person has feelings for you. Um, and because you network a lot, people may have already told you that. Um, but you didn't want to approach them because of this third party that was involved and you just wanted to respect their life. Um, but it's been painful for you. Maybe that's why you watch these videos because it gives you some sort of sense of relief. It's almost like um, a surrogate or a substitute for them actually telling you how they feel is hearing it through these readings. Oh, guys. But they're so close to telling you you're not going to have to rely on these readings for long. Trust me. Trust me. All right. Let's take some Arthurian cards for a little bit more clarification. <laughs> Woo! Holy guacamole. That's too many. <clears throat> Eight of Pentacles. They've been working hard. They've been making a decision. They like that you're a hard worker as well. They like that you're committed, but they're ready to make a commitment to you. Okay. And they like that you're loyal to them as well. Knight of Wands, they're about to come charging through the door and Seven of Swords. Okay. Be wary. There may be some form of secrecy going on here. Okay, and especially if there's a third party involved, I'm not saying that they're going to do something immoral, but there may be some sort of hush-hush about this, okay? Perhaps because they're feared of the consequences. So just be aware of that. Um, and I think that do you stay in your positive energy and all will go well, all will be fine. You just need to allow time for things to clear up. literally just dropped half the deck okay i did warn you at the start that we we're gonna have some extra things pop up in this reading but boy was i not prepared for that let's take a look at the goddess cards this will give us more clearance on how they find you attractive even though they find literally everything about you attractive oh hello oh hello we've got eve i love eve she's so beautiful and see how we have um, the wolf there? You're like the guardian. Okay, so the word Eve means life. The goddess Eve is the mother and nurturer of all life. She is the creator of the world and of all living beings, lady of the beasts and steward of all growing things. Whew. Even in the Bible, she is portrayed with a snake, a potent symbol of the vital life force found in every living being, representing rebirth and regeneration. In one of those Gnostic texts in it is Eve who calls Adam to life. Eve is the embodiment of primal female creative energy, of the powerful urge to create and sustain life. She is active femininity and relatedness to all that lives. She is life itself. Oh, remember how I was saying that they literally just, you're everything to them? You're their life. You are their life. Sorry, I know I'm being really like strong with that, but they see you as incredibly beautiful. They dream about you. They see you as like dreamy and mysterious. Like, I feel like they have a very magical. They they see you in this very magical, mysterious energy, like a goddess. Like how you would kind of like imagine a scene where a goddess is revealed in a movie, like that kind of thing. That's how they see you all the time. <laughs> They're just so beyond attracted to you. It goes way beyond attraction. Um, rebirth and regeneration. They see you as a new start in their life. Um, and they really, are, they see you, um, they're primarily attracted to you, okay? They're very sexually attracted to you. Um, I, can, I, I can feel that they fantasize about just spending literally all night awake with you, if you know what I mean there. Um, um, they're really attracted to your feminine energy, regardless if you are a male or a female or non-binary. 
Um, they like that femininity that you embody, okay? And for some of you, they might like that it's um, just like a hint of femininity that comes out sometimes. For some of you, it might be that um, you're so um, luxurious and feminine and mm, pretty and delicate that they might like. So it's different. Femininity is embodied different in all people. And however you embody it, it's how they find it attractive, yeah? All right, let's take... Um, a mermaid oracle card but before i do that i have to take this card from the top i don't know why but she is speaking to me look at her spider woman spider woman is an important goddess among many southwestern native american tribes though occasionally destructive she is nearly always portrayed as beneficent the Korean spider woman created everything there is by thinking dreaming or naming she taught the people how to plant seeds Cherokee grandmother spider brought people the sun and fire. She taught them pottery, weaving, and how to make ceremonial blessings. Spider woman is responsible for bringing fire among the Pueblo, Tiwa, and Kiwa tribes. A spider woman named Biliku, found in the Indian subcontinent, also brought fire and light. For the Hopi, spider woman is a creator who helped the people during their emergence, created a moon as sorry, created the moon, has the power to give and take life, and is connected to hunting and agriculture. Spider woman is a reminder that good comes from everywhere. Even the lowly spider, sometimes dismissed as irrelevant, has the power to create and teach. So I feel like this is a message for you. Um, I think you're taken aback by this reading and just how powerful you are to this person and you're doubting it. Don't, Okay. Don't underestimate the power you have on this person. Yeah. You are creating a whole new life for them in their mind's eye. They never envisioned the kind of life they could have until they met you. In a positive way, I mean. Yeah? And that's amazing what you've done for them. Hello. Hello. Positive energy. So this is twofold. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. You're a positive energy for this person, but you also need to maintain positive thoughts about yourself and have positive energy. <laughs> because yes, you are this powerful. Yes, your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. Yes, this person does have feelings for you. Yes, you are this powerful. Yes, you do mean this much. Contemplation time. Spend time alone meditating upon what you truly desire. So spend some time contemplating on um, that, on what you truly desire, and spend some time contemplating. Um, do some positive affirmations about yourself. Healing hard because you need to heal your self-doubt. And you are a powerful healer also. Um, and you're healing for this person that this reading is about, okay? And for everyone around you, I'm getting that message. It's not just for this person. Let's take an angel spirit card. Have we done renology cards? I'm having a mental blank. I'm just going to do them again, just in case. Surrender and release. Surrender your fears, surrender your self-doubt, Okay. And I feel like you need to surrender and release any control, um, fears of lack of control you might have with this relationship um, about the consequences that might come from them breaking up with their person to be with you. Just focus on yourself, focus on healing, okay? Everything will work out fine. Everything will work out fine. All right, let's take some immunology cards. As our final message. That is way too many cards. Okay. Let's take the ones that fell down. You and your loved ones are safe. So, again, surrender those control issues because... You'll be safe. You don't have anything to fear. A new start is coming. Okay. They are going to 
approach you very soon. Have faith in your dreams. Have faith that this is possible, that you do mean this much to this person and expect powerful change to come once you accept that because at the moment I feel a bit of resistance from some of you who don't have this faith in yourself, okay? Don't let pride get in your way, which means don't let your ego get in your way, your ego of doubt, your ego that you're not good enough. Um, I think some of you have an ego in the sense that you are so humble that you would never see your worth. Let go of that. Recognize how strong and powerful you are. What a powerful source of change you are for this person. Because it's the truth, remember? Yes. Whew, that was hella intense. <laughs> That's all I have for you guys today. I hope that helped. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and spending time with me today. I'm forever grateful. It means so much. To me that you would choose to click on my video and actually follow it through and watch it it's awesome um if you would like a private reading with me then my email is in the description box below as well as a link to donate should you wish to in the energetic exchange um but no pressure but thank you so much and i love you all so much thank you i'll see you in the next reading bye